And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. It was another cool day across northeast Wisconsin, and we were once again one of the cool spots. Highs were only in the lower 70s, and it wasn't just us. We had Chicago at 73, Cleveland at 73, but Portland got up to 80 degrees, and then you go out west about 500 miles, and you're getting close into the upper 90s. There's a very big, well above average temperature range over the western part of the country, and you can see how that bullseye is still situated over the next six to 10 days. But we will warm up here a little bit as well, getting back into the upper 70s and low 80s before you know it, probably right around Tuesday, and then even some lower to mid 80s afterwards by Thursday or Friday. Today started off with some cloudy skies, then gradually this cloud started to clear out, and we did turn sunny as we take full screen on that graphic. And afterwards, we did turn into more of that sunshine going into the second half of the day. What's happening here is we have an area of low, high, low pressure to the south and there was some residual moisture that blowed off from Lake Michigan and you see how that quickly eroded with a daytime sunshine, high pressure sticking around here from Canada. We're down to the south. The Labor Day weekend is not as pleasant as what we're seeing here. Lots of scattered showers and storms across the east and the southeast as moisture is being transported from the Gulf of Mexico. But at least, you know, it could certainly be a lot worse. And with the weather being so quiet here across Wisconsin, we actually wanted to talk about the tropics for a moment. It's starting to get a little active. We've been quite honestly just really calm for the first couple of months of the summer, but now things are starting to get its act together. And September tends to be a pretty active month for the hurricane season. We've got Tropical Storm Earl right now. Great news that it's going to be making a hard right divot, not moving towards the mainland of the U.S., and will be intensifying to a Category 3 hurricane as we get towards late Wednesday. And then we've got another system right now, Hurricane Danielle. This one is moving off to the east and northeast, heading off towards Europe, and it'll be moving into a more cooler water. So right now, hurricane status of Category 1, but will start to weaken as it gets into the eastern Atlantic. So back here at home, quiet as can be. We'll have mostly clear skies heading into the overnight hours, maybe some clouds coming in off the lake and starting off with perhaps some partly cloudy skies. But during the afternoon, another beautiful day with light winds and temperatures warming up into the lower to mid 70s. On Tuesday, kind of a similar status, starting off with a little bit of cloud cover off the lake, and then we erode that during the afternoon hours. Here's your planner for tomorrow, lower to mid 70s. We'll probably be still a few degrees below normal for the day and then on Tuesday we'll warm up even more likely getting into the mid and upper 70s so right around near or slightly above average and I'm re there really isn't a whole lot of rainfall over that next seven day forecast until probably Saturday for tonight we will cool off into the low 50s northeast winds at 5 to 10 tomorrow we'll get up into the mid 70s northeast winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour seven day forecasts low to mid 80s Wednesday Thursday and Friday but a chance of some showers Saturday and Sunday.